Hey, welcome back. Woodley here. We're on our house build site and I've got three specific updates here in this video just to kind of keep you up to speed with what's been happening. We had our framing phase. That was super exciting uh, where everything, every day there was a big change and then things have slowed down a little bit. Um, the crew had some work in some other areas that had to be finished up and we had to kind of sort through and get some decisions. And then there's just some little details that uh, needed attention, not always as dramatic of progress, but uh, kind of setting things up to move along in the right direction. So let me show you these three um, updates from our last time. Well, the first one you see here on the outside is that we've got our uh, meter panel. And if you'll remember, we had um, National Grid has put in this ground transformer. And then we dug this trench from there up to the house and we're waiting on that wire to get connected um, into the transformer so we can get power here on site. But um, we've got this box and what's nice about this particular box style is that in this here, um, there is actually inside of it, we have I forgot the bottom's a little tricky to get off, but there's a disconnect switch in here that allows us to, um, here it is. There it goes. So we've got a disconnect right here inside the panel so that we can, if you have any work that needs to be done on the inside, you can just turn the power off directly from here which is a nice feature to have. And then we've got four knockouts. So if we do uh, exterior work, um, need to add something, maybe some lighting for our driveway, that is in place. And so this goes in, we've got the panel inside. I'll show you that here in a sec. We've got a tack of the Japanese um, beetle. And I don't know what the difference is here. You'll see this here. I don't think these are ladybugs. Now, what I don't know, I don't know if this one is a ladybug and this one is this Japanese beetle, but there are, I mean, like thousands of these and they're all over the outside. What's so interesting is you get like a really interesting look at your air sealing detail because any place that there's air coming in, bugs can come in. So right now at the base of our windows, that area isn't sealed until the spray foam comes along and they seal it from the inside and down in our uh, basement level they'll come in under the window and they'll you know it's like the ants go marching two by two hurrah hurrah they're all over the place so kind of an invasive species but uh pretty interesting update two is we've had some good progress here on the porches now this is the first floor porch that we're looking at and um, the foundation for it's in, the deck boards are screwed in on here, and then these will be the posts for our hand railing that you see here, those are rough sawn beams. This porch is gonna be, have uh, rough sawn posts on the outside, and then it will have a open roof uh, inside of it there. So we've got some steps to go, we got the beams, the roof's gotta be put on here. But um, this is pretty nice, and these uh, handrail posts um, are cool. They really, they really look great, and uh, this thing is, is fully kind of anchored down um, into it. When you come up, there's the flashing. There's a metal flashing there under that zip tape um, on, on here, and then there's a little step up to our next update. So this is our first floor door, this kind of craftsman style. It's nice. We'll have uh, handles coming in here this week, but um, did a great job. These guys did on the install of this door. And I want to just kind of point out a few, a few of those details, because if you have ever tried to install an exterior door like I have, you know that it is not the simplest thing in the world to do and you want those details to be taken care of correctly. So you're looking for this nice eighth inch reveal all the way around the outside. You want it to be 
um, square, plumb and true. And I was talking with a carpenter when he was installing it and he says, I really like to use um, a lot of shims. And so not just on the hinges, but you'll notice here in between the hinges, kind of above up here, we've got another shim here in between the lower hinges, another shim. And then all of those are screwed through the frame, through the shim, um, into the rough opening. And that kind of gives a better um, strength and stability to, to this door. So um, you want someone to take their time and getting that door in because it can very easily um, it becomes an air sealing issue if you don't have things that are um, just right on it. And so this is looking good. So we're down here in the mechanical room and you see we've got the wire that comes from the, from the uh, meter in here. Um, not hooked up yet, but the panel is on. This is a 200 amp panel. Uh, and we offset this because we're going to be adding a, a Cummins whole house uh, 20 kilowatt backup generator and we can install that automatic transfer switch here offsetting it. So planning ahead, knowing that we're gonna get that, if we leave room for that, you can install those transfer switches exterior, but also interior. And if you can do it interior, it just protects them a little bit more. They've got some moving parts um, with that. This is what I mean about the, uh, that air sealing detail and these, these little, uh, bugger things getting in down here How and they, uh, they get in here Lucas by underneath the window you leave that open and then you seal this up later with um, with spray foam and uh, yeah that's how they get that's how they get in there down on that side so this is the office store down here and you see the uh, decking has been started here. This will have a little kind of small, just an eight foot um, porch here on this side, but it's nice. It'll all be level flush with the door. And uh, I think they have to put the joist hangers in on these um, as well. I'm not sure if they can handle it um, with that as well, but this will be able to, um, yeah, this will be a nice little porch, have a roof over it. So this is our last door down here, and this is the main door for the um, ground floor level for my in-laws. And uh, so again, out here, and we've got a little bigger, um, a little bigger porch deck, but same thing. It'll be right here, even with this threshold. This is nice. You know, we're thinking about kind of, uh, you know, the end of end of uh, life season for them. And if necessary, if we get to at some point, uh, we'll be able to put a ramp, you know, just a nice little gradual ramp off either one of these sides. So, you know, that'll work out, um, that'll work out very well um, when needed. So this is the nice part now as the leaves have started to drop, we can see this water through down there on there. It's a beautiful, on these days where it's sunny, the reflection is just gorgeous. And as you go higher in the house, um, it gets even better. All right, so there's the updates and uh, getting ready for an exciting week on here. Um, the well driller should be here this week. That's a really big deal. Um, and we're gonna start the duct work, I believe, for the HVAC will begin going in this week. And we're close to the electrician and the plumber starting their rough-ins with things. So uh, we're gonna, a lot's gonna be happening here next weekend. We're on pace to get the driveway um, topped off, start getting that stuff ready for winter. Um, so things are moving along, coming together, and uh, really exciting. We're ready for um, the next phase, and uh, a lot more info to share with you. Thanks for checking this one out. Catch you next time.